Christian is not only to be ignorant of the scientific evidence, but it's to be ignorant of Scripture for several reasons. Number one, why would a perfect God use an imperfect means to create a perfect world? It makes no sense. Secondly, evolution requires two things. It requires chance and massive death and destruction. Survival of the fittest, millions of species dying out in order to create Homo sapien. How can you have massive death and destruction creating Adam and Eve when Romans chapter 5, 12 says that there was no death prior to sin and sin came through one man, Adam. It's biblically ignorant to hold a theistic evolution. It doesn't hold water. They say, well, oh, well, God used evolution and the six days of creation were long periods of time that God used to create. It really wasn't a 24-hour day. Hey, folks, people who hold the long ages, they have a very small concept of God. Folks, if you understand the nature of God, God did not need six 24-hour days. If you understand the omnipotence of God, he could have done it in six seconds. And the people who hold the long ages have a very small God who is not the God of the Bible. I could go on with this. We need to end. What I'm saying is this, folks. You don't have to be afraid of science. Because wherever we explore, whether it be in the macrocosms of astronomy or the microcosms of biochemistry, wherever we discover truth, it is always consistent with God's nature and His Word, the Bible. There is no contradiction between science and the Bible. The contradiction is only between a man-made theory called evolution that has no scientific basis and Scripture. But between true science and the Bible, there is no contradiction. What we observe in the scientific world is exactly what God told us we would find in the scientific model of creation. You are not an accident, folks, evolved out of slimy algae. You are not part of billions of years of history. You are, in fact, of a very recent origin. You are a unique creation of God. And you are so valuable and you are so important as a creation of God that Jesus Christ came and died on a cross for you. And when Jesus Christ came and died on that cross, folks, he did not die for evolved slimy algae. He died for you and for me. Because he had created you, he made you, and he loved you. And he desired for you to come back into a relationship with himself. Let's bow in a word of prayer. Lord, there is so much that, more that we could cover. But Lord, we just praise you tonight. How great thou art! And we have to humbly bow before you and recognize you tonight as our creator. You made us. You made this world. The Word of God is true. We find in the fossil record everything after its own kind, just as you said. We find the evidence of a worldwide catastrophe, a worldwide flood, just as you described. A fool who says in his heart, there is no God. As 1 Corinthians 1 says, the world through its wisdom has not come to know God. It's foolishness to God. Oh, but Lord, we love you tonight and praise you that you loved us so much that even in Jesus Christ, we can know you personally, the creator of the universe. To you be the honor and glory and praise tonight. In Jesus' precious name, amen.